Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 48, day four of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar, that you can buy at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. And they have incredible sales going on because this, um, because doTERRA's convention is coming up next week. Super excited about that. So um, if you hop on to one or both of those sites and you love essential oils, you're going to love all the fun things that you can buy there. The affirmation that we have been concentrating on and focusing on the entire week is I am focused on the beauty and love that is flowing my way. I just have to give a shout out to my sons. My children, like all of my children, but I have nine children, the first five are up and grown, and and I so I just have four at home with us right now, right? And only I have seven sons, two and two daughters. The daughters are like number one and number four. So the rest of them are sons. And so we only have we only have boys at home besides me. Can you imagine living in an all male house? Like it definitely creates a different dynamic when you are the only one of your gender in an area. Anyway, I think I can hold my own though. So Okay, back to the shout out for my boys. They are so kind, so loving, and it fills my soul. It it just makes me feel so good. They I cannot even tell you how many times a day they come up and give me a hug and say, I love you. I almost want to cry right now when I'm thinking about it. But it's happy tears, right? <sighs> All of that said, I don't know how how I got blessed with such incredibly loving children, but I know that each of us, each of us have those people in our lives, those people who are, are just loving on us, just want to hug us every single time they see us. I mean, my children don't want to hug me every single time they see us, see me because I homeschool. And so they are always around. But I swear, I have to get like 20 hugs a day. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, let's, um, as we're focusing on being energized by the beauty and the love that is flowing our way, let's open up and see who loves us and who is just trying to shower us with that love that, hey, you're an important person and I'm going to show you that by loving you. And then let's let's do a little bit of time journaling and seeing, are we being that loving and kind person in return? Are we reaching out in some type of way with loving connection to the people that we love in our life? There's that song, shower the people you love with love. That's a really amazing advice. Now, sometimes we're hit with situations where we, it's hard to see the love. It is, you know, like maybe we're little and our mom tells us to clean our room before we can go out and play. And, and it's hard to see the love in that. Is there love in that? Oh yeah. It takes a whole lot more love to hold children to, um, to standards than it does to be the type of parents that's just like, oh yeah, yeah, just do whatever you want. It takes a whole lot more energy, a lot more mental, emotional work, and and love to to hold people to standards, right? So sometimes we may not be feeling the love even though the love is there. I don't know that I have a answer for that. Maybe looking at different people in our lives and saying, hey, I, I assume this person loves me. How are they showing me the love? And again, then let's, as we're looking at all that beauty and love flowing our way, let's make sure we are reciprocating and even even upping that ante, right? 
that when we see the love and we feel the love, we are sending it back out to our loved ones, our circles, the world. We're sharing our love. Okay. I think that's all I wanted to say on the affirmation for the entire week. Let's move on for the app to the affirmation for today. And that is this. I trust the universe to bring me what is best for me. Mm. That's a huge one, right? I trust the universe to bring me what is best for me. When we can change our focus from life happens to us to life, life happens for us. Like, you all know that story. You know, there's two children the, these parents have, and one's a complete optimist and like just a go-getter and a happy, happy person, and the other one is just like the doom and gloom, the Eeyore, the, the um, nothing's ever good enough, and whatever else. And I this is a super popular story, but it still does illustrate my point. And that, um, so the, the parents for Christmas give the, the kind of ornery and, and pessimistic child everything on his list that he wants. And the parents give the other person um, like a barn full of poop, right? And the one who was pessimistic, you know, was, wasn't, wasn't that affected by his presence. But the one who was like optimistic and whatever, he was like happy, happy, happy. And his parents are like, why are you so happy? And the, the child says, well, because if there's all this poop, there must be a pony in here somewhere. Now, that's a story that illustrates the, the power that comes to us by our thinking and how our thinking can change things, can create things, and and how our thinking that the universe really is, and when we when, I, when we say the universe, I'm really saying God. I'm really saying God that God is sending us exactly what we need to grow, to develop, to become um, more loving and compassionate, and 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 happy and peaceful. People. God is sending us exactly what we need. Are there going to be hard times that we have in life? Yes. And okay, I'm not going to say that every hardship comes from God because I definitely don't think that. Like I think there's a lot of um, hardships that come to our life by people who are breaking heavenly rules. So that can cause a whole lot of hardship and pain. So does everything that, that in life that happens to us come from God? Uh, I don't think so. But I do think this. I think that God is always there and he can turn, like the scriptures do say, that God can turn anything that happens to us for our good. He can turn anything that happens to us for our good. I'm, rem I'm remembering right now, um, Carrie and whatever her sister's name was, Ten Boom. You ever heard, read The Hiding Place or seen the movie? If not, oh my gracious. You really should because you have these two sisters that are so kind and loving and helpful and and courageous who get who get picked up from for their efforts to help um political enemies that were seen as political enemies enemies in Germany at that time. They were helping them and they got picked up and put in a concentration camp. And do you know what? It didn't break them. It didn't break them. It didn't make them less compassionate. It didn't make them less forgiving. It it didn't it didn't break their connection with God. It didn't break their connection of reaching out and trying to lift and sustain other people. Did God want that to happen to them? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. But to God use that experience for their good, yeah, our God is a God of miracles. He is a powerful God. He knows everything. And so God can take anything that life sends us and make it for our good. And so that's why I can trust this statement 
that the universe, I trust the universe to bring me what is the best for me. I trust that God can take any situation that the world can send my way and make it so that that situation serves me and I come out stronger and more compassionate and more loving. Okay. Oh, we should just keep the Kleenex around us. Okay. So that is the affirmation for today. The song that I'm going to pair for today, even though it's talking about the universe, trusting the universe to send everything. I am a firm believer that God wants us to move our feet. And then when we move our feet, when we ask for his help and when we work, he, he, um, he, he performs the miracle. There's my, one of my favorite sayings is by John Quincy Adams, the son of John Adams, who's one of my relatives that I just love, 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 love. I love who he was and what he stood for and all that jazz. If you don't, if you haven't studied John Adams, like the second president of the United States, please whew, do yourself a favor and go study him because he's so amazing. But um, his son that he taught, right? So these ideas passing down father to son. But his son is known for the quote, duty is ours, results God's. When we move our feet, God can take care of everything else. And so the song that I'm pairing with this affirmation for today is Even a Miracle Needs a Hand from a super old show from the 70s probably, um, a Christmas show. I will put the song for you in the comments. The song that we're pairing for the whole entire week is Waltz of the Flowers by Peter Tchaikovsky. A beautiful song as we are transitioning from a beautiful summer to an abundant autumn. The 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 diffuser blend that we're that we're diffusing the whole entire week is two drops of sandal with the oil of sacred devotion and alignment. Two drops of cinnamon, like the superman of oils. It helps you get your confidence on and also helps you bring back and reignite your passions. Staying on the road to getting to your passions. And then lavender, the oil of communication and calm. Okay. There are only three essential oils in the diffuser blend this week, and so we have two extra days. So I'm going to touch on an oil that's not in my edition of this book, and I bought this book a long time ago. So um, I'm sure that they've probably updated it by now. I'm, I don't actually know for sure, though. The So the essential oil that we're going to be talking about today, the emotional and physical benefits of it is celery seed essential oil celery seed essential oil it is the oil of detoxing and the oil of non-comparison shining our own light letting other people shine theirs this okay so we all know celery some of us know and love celery some of us know and don't like celery but we all know celery because it's found in kitchens around the world it was used by the greeks the romans and the ancient egyptians it requires a large amount of water to grow it is actually a super um oh, what do you call it um strong virulent plant because you can, you could like you could pick the celery and you can use all of its stalks. But if you just have like that little base of the celery, you know, you like you cut off the stalks to use, but you never really use that base. Is I don't anyway. But you can take that base, you can put it in water, and it will grow. How do I know? Well, one I saw it on YouTube, and then two, we decided to try it, and it grew just fine grew other stocks we didn't get into the garden and get it planted as fast as we should have so like it grew and then it didn't grow but like if you're better at taking care of plants than i was you can grow it and then put, you know replant it into your garden and have beautiful celery from the celery that you actually buy at the store the essential oil comes from the ste the seed and is steam distilled 
the essential oil has a oh Caleb, can you grab me my celery? But it's in the kitchen by the waters that we the oils that we use for drinking. Okay. It is it uh-huh. I don't think it's there. I think it's in the kitchen. Anyway, um that essential oil comes from the sea. Oh, I told you that. Celery is super popular right now for juicing. You know, like the juice man and and other popular, super popular things that it's hard to get a lot of the nutrients that we need. And so a lot of people love to, to add to that by juicing their vegetables or their fruits. It's definitely way better to um, to do a juice that you're making yourself than probably most of the juices on the market. It's probably gonna be more pure, definitely gonna be more fresh. So, um, Anyway, okay, so I was telling you about how you could, how people are juicing celery. Well, did you know that celery is um, one of the most toxic vegetables? It's the, one of the most contaminated vegetables in um, in the of, of produce. It actually makes the top, the dirty dozen, um, and environmental health news said that. So if you're buying celery and you're juicing it, may I just make this suggestion? And that is that you buy organic celery, or you you really do a good wash of your your veggies. And we probably should all be washing our fruits and veggies anyway. Some of us are better than that than other people. But buy organic when you can. But um, another another alternative to buying and choosing that celery is just getting DoTerra's celery seed essential oil, and and putting a couple drops in your water in the morning is a beautiful way to help our bodies detox. Now, I did tell you that you could use celery seed internally, and you can. Here is my, here is my best wisdom on that, and that is that I would only trust um, doTERRA. I, I would only trust um, if I was looking at all the essential oil companies, I would only trust doTERRA to be able to use it internally. And here is why. Because a third-party test, not every hundredth, hundredth batch, not every tenth batch. No, they third-party test every single batch of essential oils to make sure that there are no contaminants in it. To make sure that there's nothing in that oil besides just 100% what it says on the bottle. Then they do their own internal testing too, and then they put all of those tests on this beautiful site called Source to You, and you can, and then they put the batch number on every bottle of oil. So you can look on the bottom of the bottom of your bottle of oil, look at the batch number, go to Source to You, type that in, and you can see all of their tests that were done on your batch of oils, and all of the results. Like that's that's just incredible. What other company in the world is that transparent? What other company in that world is that committed to pursuing what is pure? Okay, so do I trust doTERRA essential oils to be used internally? A hundred percent, yes. And can all, it's super easy, well, can all doTERRA essential oils be used internally? And that is a no, because some plants are made to be used internally and some plants are not. They're just made to be used topically or aromatically. But it's super easy, super easy, to see if you can use a doTERRA essential oil internally because it will have the supplement facts on it. It's gonna look exactly the same as your nutrition facts look on the sides of your cereal boxes. And then it's also gonna say on your bottle, for internal use. So if you have those two things on your bottle, you can know that that bottle can be used, that essential oil can be used internally. Now, are we gonna just like down the bottle? Uh, no, 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 because essential oils are very, very potent. And so we're just gonna use like one drop or two in, um, in like water, in a smoothie or whatever, we're gonna know, we're gonna do our due diligence and, and see how do we use essential <laughs> how do we use essential oils 
internally safely and and you know you can just follow the instructions on the, your bottle celery is H is traditionally used for detoxifying and cleansing it is a remedy that is highly needed in the modern age I am not sure if there has ever been a time when there has been more toxins in our air, our water, our soil, in media, and the list goes on and on. So do we have a huge need to be detoxing from a lot of things in life? Yeah, we do. And if celery essential oil can help us detox from that and to move on with renewed energy and optimism and commitment. Here are some of the top physical benefits of celery seed essential oil. First, it promotes digestive health. It helps with detoxifying our system. It helps to keep everything running properly. You can mix a drop of your water in um, a carrier oil and rub that on your stomach or you could just pop a drop in your water and drink that, sip on that throughout the day or just, you know, chug it down. Some people may not, I, I put celery seed in my water today and um, I was good with the taste. I like different tastes. Like I don't have to have just something super sugary and sweet to like it. And, um, but if, if celery seed, if like you try that in celery seed, it's just, you're like, uh, I don't really like that taste go ahead, pair it with one of the citrus oils. I think that will brighten the taste and um, I think you'll, you may enjoy that better. I would just do the straight celery though. So it is great to, it, celery can help aid liver the detox of decongestion. Celery is great for aches and pains. It's great for headaches. It's great for menstrual pains. You can put a, um, a couple of drops into a, a carrier oil and just m massage that on wherever you're feeling the discomfort. Or you can put a few drops in like an Epsom salt bath and just climb in for a soothing soak. One very specific way to use celery seed for discomfort is along your sciatic nerve. So if you're having that back pain that can be, um, that can just zap your energy, right? Go ahead, put a couple drops of the celery seed um, into massage carrier oil, massage that on, or again, hop into that soothing bath with a couple drops of celery seed into like a quarter cup to a whole cup of Epsom salts. Now, Again, just anytime you're using Epsom salts, go ahead, up your water content. Celery seed can help in the elimination of uric acid. It can also help to repel um, insects and help kill germs. So emotionally, what are the emotional benefits of celery? Well, I'm saying this almost all the time, what an oil does emotionally, it does also physically. What it does physically, it also does emotionally. So we can bank that celery seed is going to help us detox our emotions, help us detox our mind. Celery is very relaxing and calming, and it can help calm anxious feelings. Celery helps us drop attitudes and habits that aren't serving us. It especially, I love this part about celery. Celery can help us calm down and stop the comparison. It can stop, um, it can help us put a stop to comparing our lives, our real lives, to the highlight reels that we see of other people's lives on social media. Celery seed can help us see that we have our own unique gifts, our own unique strengths, and we have a unique voice that the world needs to hear. It can help us when we're comparing ourselves to other people. It can help us sometimes when we're comparing ourselves to other people. Like we just kind of, we were, we feel like that this is our goal and we compare ourselves to someone else and we just like, boom, we turn the car. And, and, and then sometimes we get filled up with, I don't know, envy or, you know, 
discontentment that they're who they are and we're who we are, right? Or that's their life and this is ours. Well, we're not comparing apples to apples when we're comparing what other people are posting on social media. <sighs> anyway, so celery can help remind us that. Celery can help bring us back to a, a sense of our own strength. If we're feeling like victims, if we're feeling, mm, I don't know, overrun, celery. Maybe you have, maybe you have children that are like, mom, can I do this? Mom, can I do this? You're like, no, can't do that right now. And they're like, mom, can I do this? Mom. Um, it can help us stay grounded, stay focused, hold our road into what we know is best. Celery, celery, celery reminds us that we don't need to dull our light and other people can shine their lights bright too. It helps us to remind us and we don't have to have the same light. We don't have to have the same voice. We don't have to have the same cause, the same mission. Celery seed helps us remember that and it helps us shine our light better and helps us be happy for when other people's light is shining bright too and when they're having a tremendous influence too. We need each of our lights to shine bright. If we will shine our lights bright, the world will be a better place. Celery is beautiful to diffuse or even pop a drop in your water and drink when you're trying to be a little bit more creative, when you're brainstorming um, the next path that you wanna go, maybe you're brainstorming how to, how to handle different roadblocks that you're bumping into, celery seed can be beautiful at helping us see new options. Celery seed essential oil is great for helping us analyze facts and make more appropriate decisions. And I think one of the reasons it does that is because it's so calming. And when we are, when we are calm, we are in our, our prefrontal cortex, and that is when we make our best decisions. Thankful for celery and help it, how it helps us calm that and stay in our minds where we want to be. Celery is great as helping us express our more authentic selves. It helps us be a little bit more vulnerable. Celery seed is great at helping us stabilize mood. So oh, if we're a type of person that tends to swing one way and then swing the way, another, or even tends to swing out of control, celery seed, it can help calm that, help us bring us back. Sometimes we get, we go from mood to mood to mood or even get out of control when we have fears and anxieties and celery seed essential oil can help us calm down and look at those and process those in a healthy way. Game plan for those in a healthy way. Celery seed can help protect us from negative energies from people around us. Okay. We, a lot, we all need this, we all need this, right? We're human and we all get bent out of shape sometimes and we don't want our bent out of shapeness to affect everyone else and we don't want other people's bent out of shapeness to affect us. So just like we're stopping that comparison, like boom, cutting that comparison from other people, we are also cutting the um, connection not, not the connection, the loving connection, the compassionate connection. No, we're going to keep that. But we're cutting the connection of, of feeling responsible for someone else's thoughts, words, feelings, deeds. Like we're responsible for our thoughts, feelings, words, and deeds, right? Who, who, who do we control? Do I get to decide what someone else says? No. Do I get to decide what someone else does? Well, I don't know, as like a wife and a mom, every once in a while I would love that power, but no, we don't get to decide that, right? And so, can we just stop owning what other people do? Can we just let them own that? We're gonna own and be responsible for what we do, and we're gonna let other people own and be responsible for what other people do. Yes, we can compa be compassionate and helpful and reach out, but we're gonna let other people own their own behavior. What other people um, do or think or feel is not between us and them. 
is between between themselves and God, right? Where and sorry, see can help kind of cut cut some of that connection that um that is not helpful to have. Celery seed, it's great for, um, the last benefit of celery seed is that it invites us to, um, hold on, I'm reading my own notes. Celery seed invites us to return to our own strengths, to stay on our own course, and to return to practices that we know that lead to better outcomes. Remember how it was in the beginning, I said that it was so detoxifying to, um, detoxifying, helping us drop attitudes and habits that weren't serving us. So we're coming back to that. And again, it's gonna help us drop the attitudes and the habits that don't serve us. And it's gonna help us bring in Staying calm, being the logic, seeing the cause and um, effects of what we're doing is going to help us bring in practices that lead to better outcomes. Who doesn't want to do that? I was wa I love listening to different talks during the morning when I'm doing like family history, and I was listening to a talk this morning, and it said, and I wrote this down in my phone because I thought it was so cool because but I can't see my phone right now because I'm taping on it anyway. But it said, when we come to a decision, we should ask ourselves, how would the person I want to be handle this? What would the person I want to be do? I think that's powerful. When we think, what would the person I want to be do? We are being true to our best selves and we make our best decisions. So I love that. Okay, so how can you blend celery seed if you are blending it to try it as you're going it because you want to go into a, like a creative session? You can blend it with summer savory, jasmine, wild orange, clementine, tangerine, or neroli. All of those are super creative oils. If you're blending it to try to live more in alignment with your own mission in life, well, definitely you can blend it with sandalwood, which is the oil of sacred devotion and alignment. You can also blend it with, with juniper berry. If you're blending it to try to be a little more grateful in life, like having our eyes a little bit more open to see that love and that beauty and the, the help that really is all around us, we can blend it with frankincense or lavender. And um, and I'm just giving you a few. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of other essential oils you can blend it with for that. And if you want to help blend it for your body for detoxing, you can blend it with lemongrass, lemon myrtle, wild orange, or grapefruit. So, and the last thing that I wanted to mention was celery seed, and then I'm sure that many of us have celery seed, um, like the herb in our in our spice rack or in our spice cabinet. I have a spice cabinet, but, well, I guess Derek has a spice cabinet because he's really the one that does most of the cooking, but he has a beautiful spice cabinet. Anyway, but you can you can um, put a couple drops, a drop or two, in juices, in stews, in soups, in curries, in dressings, in pickles. Like, like do a little taste of, if you're like the one in who loves to cook in your house, do a little taste of celery seed essential oil and then Think about how you can incorporate it into some of your favorite recipes. Okay, those are the physical and the emotional benefits of celery seed essential oil. The, the diffuser blend that we're diffusing the whole entire week is two drops of sandalwood, the oil of sacred devotion and alignment, two drops of cinnamon, the superman of oils, helping us get our confidence back on, helping us reignite our passions, and two drops of lavender, the oil of communication and calm. You can definitely add a drop or two of celery seed essential oil just to boost that detoxifying energy, add a little detoxifying to that blend. The, if we detoxify, I just have to go into this. If we detoxify, we will be in alignment more. If we detoxify, we'll be more confident. 
we'll pursue our passions more. If we detoxify, we're gonna stay more calm and we're gonna have better communication. So you can see, yes, it's a really, really good oil to be pairing with this blend. The song for the entire week is Walls of the Flowers by Peter Tchaikovsky. And the song that I'm pairing for today is Even a Miracle Needs a Hand. If you have miracles that you want to happen in your life, let's do some brainstorming. Let's do some praying with God and say, hey, hey, Heavenly Father, what can I do to help this miracle happen? And what do you want me to leave to you? Okay, the, the affirmation for the entire week is I trust the universe to bring me what is best for me. And I would say, I trust the universe to, to change everything that happens to me to make me stronger and make it be my best me. Anyway, do you like tweaking affirmations? I love tweaking affirmations. The affirmation for the entire week is, I am energized by the beauty and the love that is flowing my way. We all do have beauty in our lives. We all do have love flowing our way. I hope we are also being the loving flow of love to all others around us and back out to the world. And I hope that we're doing whatever we can with our unique strengths to build beauty in the world. This is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life, reminding us all that we have the incredible power within us, with God, to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.